Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Meet Me at the Rink, and I'm going to stamp it with royal blue. This was requested by Gina Rose. I am starting off with my base coat and a coat of Meet Me at the Rink. And these are some Color Club polishes. Um, I believe they were called like the Pastel Poptastic Collection or something like that. They're, they're a couple of years old. And um, Gina had asked me if I had them and if I would show some nail art using them. So I didn't have them, so I purchased them. She didn't particularly want to see this color. She just wanted to see me use some of those colors. So that's what we're doing today. Hi, Woody. So here we go with our first beautiful coat. We are going to go in with our second coat after we have another visit from Woody. <laughs> but... We're, we're definitely pleased with these polishes. They had a really good formula. They weren't too runny and they weren't too thick. And they leveled out really nice. So, I, you know, I always appreciate that. Now, I am being a little messy. And you guys should know, you know, a lot of times when y'all see me being messy, it's because I've had too much caffeine. I'll be using this AliExpress XYL18 plate. I know the images are kind of hard to see. And the Beauty Big Bang Royal Blue number 001 stamping polish, my little rectangular stamper, and my clear jelly scraper. That stamper came from AliExpress, by the way. And I'm just going to pick this image up. And I'm not doing like this on all of my nails today. I believe I'm only going to do it on my thumb, my ring, and my middle finger. Gonna line that up. But I thought this light blue would look really pretty with this royal blue, so we went with it. Go clean it off on that lint roller real quick. Get it ready for another one. And I'm cleaning that plate with pure acetone. And um, so far I've had really good luck with it. I haven't seen the acetone affecting them at all. My friends Sandy and Nikki told me that they've been using acetone on theirs for a while and their plates get a lot of use and they're not having any issues out of it. So fingers crossed it keeps on performing the way it is. And that one's a little darker than the one beside it, but you know, I'm not gonna redo it for that. I'm good with it. I'm gonna use some non-acetone nail polish remover and oh, I lied. <laughs> I am gonna take that one off. But since I put a nice thick top coat over the base of that polish, I'm able to do that. And here we go, we're gonna try it again. And just so y'all don't think I'm totally crazy, this second one ends up a little bit darker too. And I just decided, okay, now I'm done dealing with it. And we're just going to leave it. See? Still darker. Craziness. So I'm going to go in and clean up with a little piece of um, scotch tape. Masking tape. I don't know. Masking tape. And get up as much of that polish as I can. It got all over my fingers. And it's coming up pretty good, you know. I don't ever really expect to get all of it. I love it when it does, but you know, it's it's part of the way we do it. We just do what we can with the tape and then go in with our cleanup brush. Overall, I really did like this manicure. I am getting better about incorporating you know just accent nails and trying to leave some of the colors to where you can see them so you know we'll, we'll see how it goes sometimes I'll do all of them as accent nails which means there are no accent nails and then other times I'll try to behave and do something like this one or two nails I'm gonna top this one off with some posh top coat seal that design in and I didn't have any smearing with this so it's kind of hard to tell but you'll get to see it in my, my uh, swatch photo. There we go. And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.